What's up guys, Jordan Yost here from Precision 2 Blazer. Today I wanted to talk to you about double sheet bending or multi-sheet bending uh, to solve common everyday problems that we have in the bending world. Uh, we posted these two parts online last week. It's 3 8 steel with hole distortion. And what we were able to do was fix the hole distortion using the same program, but using a multi-sheet bending. A lot of people asked what that was, so we're gonna show you what that is. Um, there were a lot of comments about just pushing these parts into a smaller die as being the solution. That's not always the proper solution. You could be overloading the press brake or you could be overloading the tools. Uh, in our case, we actually have information about how much pressure is on the tools and on the machine through our software before we even bend the parts. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the bending process of these, show you how we fix a common everyday problem and uh, maybe it's something that you guys can apply on your end with your own machines. Right now we're set up, uh, we've got a 70 millimeter die. Um, if we drop down to a 60 millimeter die, we would be right at 100% of the die's capacity before we add double sheet, which means if we added double sheet, we would actually overload the die, still having hole distortion. If we drop down to a 50 millimeter die, we would be 136% overloaded in the die itself. Again, that's all information we have prior to bending these parts. So when you say just shove them in a smaller die, it's not always the proper thing. Just because you can, doesn't mean that it's safe or right. So what we're gonna show you is a different solution, okay? So we have our 3 8 parts here. We're gonna bend one without multi-sheet, and then we're gonna bend one with multi-sheet just to show you the difference. <clears throat> Part number one, tons of hole distortion. That's a problem. We can make this part better using the exact same program. And that's what we're gonna do. So Trump has set up a way for us to set up multi-sheet bending, the click of a button. You select it, you add into your thickness of the sheet, which is 0.118 in our case. And now it's gonna adjust the tonnage and press force for this particular part, including the sacrificial piece of material that we're gonna put in there. So we're gonna come in here across our die, place the sacrificial piece, the double sheet, place our part. Now we have a much better part using the same setup, the same program, than we did before with the distortion. So again, hopefully this is something that you guys can apply using your machines. Obviously, use your discretion as to how much force you're pressing into your die, but hopefully it helps you out with a common day problem. 